guys, yeah. Yeah. like each other. Oh, hi there. I'm Trisha King, and I'm the general chair for the Washington and Lee Mock Convention. That means I'm the boss. We're really excited that you guys decided to help us out and participate in the Mock Convention this year. I'm Tucker, I'm the personnel chair, and that means I'm in charge of everything fun. Oh, come on, Tucker. Politics can be fun, too. I'm Zach. I'm the political chair. That means I take, pay attention to polls and talk to politicians to see who the Republican nominee for president will be. Everyone knows that both parties, the Democrats and the Republicans, pick one person to be the candidate for the President of the United States. When you were in the first grade, the Democrats picked Barack Obama and the Republicans picked John McCain. But for those two to get picked, <laughs> they had to participate in a competition. Dude, I can totally win that competition. <laughs> Is it like Just Dance? <laughs> you do have moves, Tucker. No, guys. It's like a bunch of mini-elections. Each state has to have a say for who's going to be the Republican the nominee for president. Since Barack Obama's already in the White House, he is the Democratic nominee. However, the Republicans have four main people to pick from. Mitt Romney used to be the governor of Massachusetts and founded a big corporation. He has business experience. Newt Gingrich is from Georgia and used to be the Speaker of the House of Representatives. He has political experience. Ron Paul is from Texas and is a member of the House of Representatives. He used to be a doctor and is a member of the Tea Party. Rick Santorum is from Pennsylvania and was a member of the House of Representatives and a senator. His father immigrated here from Italy and he has seven kids. Darn it, I missed the last pick. Did you stop paying attention already? Yeah, long time ago. I'm sorry, I just don't see why any of this is important. Tucker. The primary races decide who is going to be the nominee for president. Plus, my convention has to guess who each state will pick. It's more than just guessing. It's a complicated algorithm, and we talked a lot of politicians. Okay, different okay, analysis. okay. I get it. Okay, okay. What Zach is trying to say is that we're talking to people in each state to try to get an idea of how everyone will vote there. We read the newspaper, we watch the news on TV, and look at surveys that voters take before Election Day. It's not even the best part of my convention, though. That's the parade. Everyone knows that. That's true, Tucker. But before you march in the parade, you have to decide which candidate you think will win. Each state has their own float, and the people on that float will have signs and posters and costumes. And candy? Well, Tucker, maybe candy. But each state has to pick who they think will win, as do you. <clears throat> That's right. Once you learn more about who is running, you get to pick your favorite, vote in class, and then make signs, posters, and costumes, and march in the parade with us. We can't wait to see who you will come up with. Wait, this is a Republican convention, right? Doesn't that mean there'll be an elephant in the parade? Tucker! Tucker. Shh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Sorry! <laughs> we can't wait to see all of you at the parade. Good, Good luck! luck.